We practice A for section 3.1. We're going to look at numbers 11 through 20. We're going to classify each angle pair as corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, or consecutive interior angles. So notice that we have four lines. Each one will act as a transversal for two other lines. Angle 3 and angle 9. They're in between these two lines. And they're on different sides of this transversal. Notice how angle 3 is on the right and angle 9 is on the left. If you use your hand or your finger or your pencil to cover up a line, it helps. These angles are alternate interior. I'll use that abbreviation. Angle 5 and angle 13, I'm going to cover up that line. Angle 5 and angle 13 are both on the left of the transversal and they're in the same spot. These are corresponding angles. I'm recording. Number 13, angle 4 and angle 10, that's another example of alternate interior angles. They're in between the lines, different sides of the transversal. Angle 5 and angle 15, that's an example of alternate exterior angles because they're not in between those lines. They're not in between those lines. They're outside the lines. Angle 7 and angle 14, this is an example of consecutive interior. They're in between the lines, these two lines, and they're on the same side of that transversal. They're both to the right of it. Number 16, angle 1 and angle 11 are alternate exterior angles. Angle 1 to the left. Angle 11 is to the right. They're both outside. For 17 through 20, we're going to use the markings in this diagram to help us here. So notice how there are some markings for parallel lines. That's what they want you to do in number 17. Name a pair of parallel lines. So you're looking for those marks. So this is line OL. And this is line PM. Number 18, name a pair of perpendicular lines. Well, that's the mark you're looking for right there. That means this line and this line are perpendicular. So line BN is perpendicular to line TR. Notice I used the symbol there. I could have done the same thing here. I could have used the parallel symbol. Number 20, is line VN, that's this vertical one, Perpendicular to line TR. Well, I just said it was. Oop, I skipped out of number 20. But that's yes for number 20. Number 19 is line QS. That's this diagonal looking one. Parallel to line TR. Line TR is this one. They're definitely not parallel because they touch each other. Line QS and line TR intersect at point R. So definitely not. 